Hi, my name is Steve Rampey. I'm the head football coach at Blue Valley High School in Logan Park, Kansas. As we've had the chance to visit with many coaches across the country about the pistol offense, the question that always comes up is quarterback play, involving what we do with our quarterbacks in our offense, not only in the running game, but in the passing game, play action pass, option, whatever it may be. We're going to devote an entire video to addressing the fundamentals of a quarterback, the attributes we think are important in our quarterbacks, and the quarterback running plays, and also the passing plays that we execute, hopefully, at Blue Valley High School in our offense. The quarterback is our trigger guy. He's the guy that makes our offense go. Let's look and see how important the quarterback position is at Blue Valley High School. Like every other position in football, the position of quarterback starts with fundamentals. We're going to look at a series of eight or nine different things that we think are important for the quarterback play at Blue Valley High School. The first thing we have our guys do is ball drills. Because we've evolved to a shotgun offense, now the quarterback is no longer just under center taking a snap. He has to actually receive a snap and then be able to do something with the ball. It's very important that he develops good hands. So ball drills are something we have our quarterbacks do daily in the summertime. And it's, just, it's uh, I think, showing my age a little bit, but they were called in basketball Maravich drills. And it's a series of drills of dropping and catching the football, taking it around your waist, taking it around your head, taking it around each leg, figure eighting each leg. And our quarterbacks will take about three or four minutes every single day, whether we're in a seven-on-seven seven throwing or just on their own. We challenge our quarterbacks to every single day spend time with the ball. The ball has to become part of their hands so that they really are comfortable in not only receiving a handoff, but then distributing it to wherever it needs to be uh, distributed to. Okay. Uh, like I said, catching a shotgun snap has, has created a different uh, fundamental need for our quarterback. They have to be able to have good hands and the ball has to become part of their hands. The next thing we talk about with our guys is stance. We are a parallel stance team. And I've watched a lot of teams in shotgun offense and their quarterbacks will stagger their feet. And I think it's maybe teams that are more dominated by drop back pass. But our quarterbacks in our offense, we want to stand with a, with a square parallel stance with their feet not too wide. One of my pet peeves as a coach is false steps, and I think the wider any athlete in any position gets with his feet, the more inclined he is to take a false step. And that throws all the timing off in our mesh and, and the things that we ask our quarterback to do. Because we are a symmetrical offense, we're going to run zone plays to the right, zone plays to the left, quarterback running plays to the right, quarterback running plays to the left, options right, options left. We require him to have a, a square stance feet parallel so he can go both ways and essentially do the same fundamental, the same mechanical steps every time he runs a play. Okay. Next fundamental is probably the most important thing in our offense, the quarterback running back, running back mesh. It's something that our guys are required to do every day before practice starts. They are on the field long before I as their coach ever get on the field already working with the center and the running backs. We'll have our quarterbacks lined up on the field working with the quarterback center exchange and a running back directly behind the quarterback. Okay, as, as we have talked about in previous videos, the steps and footwork of our quarterback on inside zone, it is really the fundamental skill required in about 90% of our running game. Okay, he is going to take the same steps. He is going to receive a snap and then drive off his opposite foot and get in a position where his feet are slightly off center being perpendicular to the line of scrimmage. We want to be at a slight angle to where the, the line that runs through his toes would almost run at the center's play side hip. Okay? And that's a fundamental